is off. My mic is off. Sorry about that. We're back playing some more Pokemon now. Like I say, I took the day off from playing it yesterday. Mainly because I was busy mainly yesterday. Uh, you never guess what I was busy doing. Obviously going out Christmas shopping, starting the Christmas shopping. Yeah, I know. I know. It's still November. What can you say? Um, but yeah, started that off. Now we're back playing some more Pokemon. Took a bit of a, like I say, took a day break away from it. Um, but yeah, as you guys will probably remember from last time, we obviously took on, was it B in the fifth gym? And you can see there on screen our uh, sort of gym circle, gym badge circle that we've got. So we've got five of the gym badges so far. And let's just give you guys a recap of where we are in terms of the Pokemon that we've got. So we've got Corviknight level 40, we've got Orbeetle level 39, Coalossal level 39, Morgrim level 37, who we caught in the last uh, the last stream that we did. We decided to drop Gengar, or not Gengar, we decided to drop Haunter for Morgrim, although, you know, a lot of you guys know that I'm a massive uh, Gengar fan, but obviously I don't uh, have any way of actually obtaining a Gengar at the moment. Uh, then we've got Dreadnought still in there, and of course our starter Pokemon, Rillaboom. Did he evolve in the last episode? He might have evolved in the last stream, or maybe the stream before it. But yeah, he's the final evolved form of Grookey. We obviously had Thwacky, and then he evolved into a Rillaboom. He's got a cool looking drum. So, where are we at the moment? We are in Ballon Layer. We are over here in sort of an underground, or like, wait, I guess we're in the forest and it's just surrounded by mushrooms and everything. Um, so the next place that we're going to, I believe, is this way over here. Surchester is where we have to get to next. Um, and then I think we go to Spike Muth and then come back to Hammerlock and then make our way up through Victory Road, I believe. And then finally on to Winden. So we are fair fair way through this game um, like I said I took a break yesterday but without further ado guys we're gonna get back into it let's see what's going on here Opal oh yeah that was it that's who we played Opal hold on now what are you doing Opal got a few errands to run in Hammerlock care to join me for the journey if you're headed for the next gym stadium you need to get you'll need to get to Hammerlock too after all uh... Should we go with her or shall we find our own way? Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's go with her. Yes, say 2 is company after all. That is true. That is true. Right, we've returned to Hammerlock. Maybe we should have went on our own to catch some more Pokemon, but you know what? We've returned to Hammerlock with Opal. Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. God damn, she moves so slow. I mean, I know she's an old woman and everything, but damn, she moves slow. Alright, let's see where she went. I mean, I'm assuming she went this way. Can't see her yet. Uh, where are you, Opal? Did you just disappear? Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, Bede is there. What are you doing, Bede? Oh, yeah, of course, Bede being kicked out of the gym challenge, which isn't good for them, but. You know, it's great for us. They were always being a bit of a nuisance to us. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away and my gym challenge status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Uh, yeah, I, I, I can. Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become a champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Oh my gosh, hello, Opal finally made your way over to us. Hmm, that boy. Uh, okay. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Okay. Time for my gym mission, child. No, uh, what? Uh, pink. Pink. And pink! Congratulations, child. What? I'm so confused. M Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You were, you were used by Oleana, am I right? 
you worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child, I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're, pulling, you're willing to put into it. Are you... are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to Turchester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7? Yeah, we just head the opposite direction, right? Okay, I'm confused about what the hell's going on there, but I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it. We are going to continue head this way, go to Sir Chester. I believe. Are we going to need to take the train? We might need to take the uh, train to get to Sir Chester. Oh, Sonya's here as well. Hey, uh, the badge collecting going well? I've been doing some research on the ruins and stone on the side. The sword and shield. What kind of Pokemon were they? And where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in. Whoa, okay. What the hell was that? Are you kidding me? What was that? I have no idea what that was. Hammerlock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh? A power spot? What's wrong? I'm getting readings from the power spot detector. Does that mean Dynamaxing is possible here? Ooh. Hey, Sonya and Jack too. You felt the shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hymenlock. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. You just get lost, Leon. I'm going too. <coughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on quaking to the adults. Head to Sir Chester and get that gym badge. Okay, but I kind of want to... I want to come with you guys. I want to see what the hell that was all about. Oh, Jack! Oh, hello, Hop. Long time no see, buddy. Uh, okay, he's over here. First, that forest, then that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word, but it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Ah, okay, so we're not taking the train. We just have to go this way. Let's go and follow Hop then, in that case. Seems to be quite a few Pokemon, center, Pokemon centers in Hammerlock, which is great. All right. We are heading across Route 7, across this bridge. Let's go. Hopefully we can encounter some Pokemon trainers to train up our Pokemon. What are you doing, Hop? Oh, right, Jack. You and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up. I want to surpass him. So I think you know what's coming, mate. Let me try out my latest in a battle against you. Okay, here we go. Like our fifth battle against Hop or our sixth battle against Hop. Let's see if he's finally figured out some strategies to help him beat us. Sending out a Trevenant, which is what a Grass Ghost type. So we're sending out Corviknight, so we might be able to, you know, deal with it straight off the bat. All right, time for me to test. I didn't read that quick enough. Right, here we go. Let us just drill peck it. Let's hopefully try and land this. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. One hit. The way you battle, you know, it kind of reminds me of Lee. Oh, thank you very much. Bye bye, Trevenant. Sorry I had to kill you so quickly. Okay, we've got some nice XP points. More of them in Dreadnought, almost up a level. Pokemon Trainer Hop is about to send out Heatmore. Yes, because Heatmore is a fire type, so let's send in Dreadnought. Here we go. Let's just water gun it. I'm surprised that we haven't actually learned any more water moves. It's really annoying because water gun is good, but it's not the best, you know. It's definitely not the best when it comes to water type moves. I don't know if I've actually got any TMs that I could teach it. But yeah, I need I need a more effective water type attack on Dreadnought. It's just not it's just not doing great at the moment. There we go, I say that, we take out the heat more. Alright, we 
we're still one step ahead of Hop. There we go, Dreadnought up a level, and Morgrim also up a level. Dreadnought up to level 39. Wants to learn Jawlock. I don't know what that move does, let's check it out. This move prevents the user and the target from switching out until either of them faints. The effect goes away if either of the Pokemon leaves the field. Okay, um, that could be good. That could be a very good move to use. Uh, yeah, let's, let's give it a bite for that. Got more, slightly more damage than bite had, so let's get rid of that. Morgrim up to level 38. You don't know the new move. Sorry about that, Morgrim. Bolton. Uh, we could we use Bolton. We don't have a ground type. I guess we can use Colossal. I think Colossal is a rock type, so rock type moves might be good against electric. I'm not sure. I think it's just ground type. Um, but we'll let's check it out. I mean, one thing's for sure. I know it's not going to be super effective against me, so we can avoid all of that nonsense. Uh, let us just use Smackdown. Why not? Yeah, it's not that effective, but using Raw is switching out our Pokemon. Who's it going to send in? Uh, 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 that's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's use the Psychic on it. Using Crunch. Is that gonna, yeah, it's going to be super effective, isn't it? Psychic type. How'd you like that attack? Now I really feel like we're getting somewhere. Yeah, you got lucky, mate. You, you took a took a punt on maybe getting a Pokemon that was super effective and you know what I just made you pay because we just took him out in one hit so there we go Orbital and Colossal both getting a decent amount of XP Inteleon is the grass type which is I believe the final evolution is it the final evolution of Sobble? I think it might be yeah, I mean, no offense, I think that looks derpy as all hell. I, I, I saw that today when I was chatting to one of my friends at work, and yeah, he just he's got he chose Sobble, and it just looks it just looks weird, man. It just looks weird. Okay, like maybe that's just me. I don't know, but it just looks a bit weird. It's fine, mate. I'm gonna use drum beating. And you're gonna die. I told you, like, stop gloating, it's fine. You're just, you're just not good enough, mate. Sorry. There we go, Rillaboom. Getting a decent amount of XP, but also Corviknight going up another level. Corviknight really storming away in terms of uh, the level comparison against the rest of the Pokemon that we have in our party. Something like Snorlax, which we don't actually have. I don't think we've got anything that would be great against the Snorlax. Uh, so we will send in um, Morgrim just for now, just to see how that goes. Like I, say, I don't think it's going to be that great against Snorlax, because we don't have a fighting type. And Snorlax is renowned for having quite a large amount of HP, and of course having a decent amount of uh, defense as well. Yeah, so we barely touch it in all you know, the grand scheme of things, we've barely made a dent in that. Oh my word, okay, we've just completely been annihilated by Snorlax. Sorry about that, Morgan. Didn't know that that was going to be super effective against you. Uh, let's, let's put in Colossal, why not? Let's put in Colossal, let's see how we can do it. Alright, here we go. Let us incinerate. Barely touches it, Jesus. Barely hits it. Oh, now we're paralyzed as well. See, this is why, I mean, let's use Tar Shot. Hopefully, we can use Tar Shot. See, this is why I was worried about Snorlax, because I don't think I don't have anything that's just effective against it. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe that's what I'm lacking as a fighting type Pokemon. Um, maybe we'll see if we can find one. Um, and I don't know, don't actually quite know who I'd take him out for. Come on. There we go, super effective. It's not that much more than what we did last time, to be fair. She's in stockpile, so now it's gonna stockpile and then swallow. And then 
get its uh, get its HP back, which is not great for us. And um, we can't move because we're paralysed. Using stockpile again, getting stockpile two. Ah, uh, its defence and everything's rising as well, which again is never great for us. Using body slam, doesn't do too much damage to us. Oh, we're still paralysed. Come on, Colossal. Please. Oh, it's, it's, the, it's, just, it's just stupid, man. I mean, I, uh, Snorlax, I understand that's how you use Snorlax, but I don't like it. I need to burn it. Please burn it. Please, can we burn it? No, of course we can't. We're stockpiling free, it's definitely just going to heal itself. 100% it's going to heal itself. Uh, let's use flame charge. Probably won't be able to use it. It's paralyzed, but you know. Go on, flame charge. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Critical hit. Right, we need to use that again. Our speed rose as well. We have to use this again. Come on. Ah, uh, Hyper Potion is just going to heal itself all the way back. Ah, uh, I'm going to move still. There's no point, there's no point in trying to like, heal its paralysis, because then he's just going to... We're just going to end up getting paralysed again, because it keeps slamming me. Ah, uh, we really need the critical hit, please. Snorlax, burn. Burn, Snorlax, man. Not great. Definitely not great. Come on. Burn. Burn. Nope. Still no burn. Ugh. I might actually have to send in the troops and, and get Corviknight on the go. Please don't paralyze me straight away. Oh my word! Let's just fly. Let's just fly. Get out of there. Get out of there. Although we might be paralyzed when we decide to come back down and attack, though. That's the thing. We can always be paralyzed here. Okay, we're not. That done an okay amount of damage. Not great, but. We have to, we have to just keep hitting it with the highest attack that we can, and I think Fly is probably our best bet of dealing the most damage, especially when you just keep stockpiling, raising its defense, and then healing itself and all of that good stuff, but, and then we miss, we miss, this is heavy slam on us, okay, that doesn't do anything to us, that's fine, let's just, let's just continue to try and whittle away its health, Snorlax is so annoying, I mean, I love Snorlax, so annoying. Just all of like the big normal type Pokemon. So annoying to deal with. Unless you have a fighting type, of course. I mean, if you've got a fighting type Pokemon, then you know you're 100% guaranteed to knock it out in a couple of hits. But I don't, unfortunately. And I don't think I've got any Pokemon that know any fighting type moves as well. So there we go. Corviknight can't even fly anymore. Oh, please, Snorlax, give me a break. I mean, to be fair, Hop did say he was going to try some different tactics against us, and it seems to be working for him, so... I can't, you know, I can't really complain about that. He, he said he was going to come at us with some different tactics, and it's working. Blue Fly, thank you. Get away from bloody Snorlax. It's just stockpiling, it's just... Okay, can't stockpile anymore? Or did it fail? I didn't quite see what that said. Please, please. Okay, can't stop fighting anymore. Drill peck, please. Please deal with it. Oh my gosh, that took so long. That took so long to kill a bloody Snorlax. Alright, Colossal and Orbeetle will both up to level 14. That's what I'm talking about. Orbeetle wants to learn after you. What does that do? The user helps the target and makes it use its moves right after the user. What? I don't understand that. 
user helps the target and makes it easy to move right after the user. So... I, I don't get that, I'm not going to learn that, I, I, don't, I don't get what that means. I mean, well, I understand what it means, but I don't understand how that could be useful. So therefore, I'm not going to be doing it. Yo, Wasp, what's up? How's it going? Thank you for joining the stream. How's your day been, man? Before we ever started out on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. It was like a bright star, so strong I could hardly bear to look right at him. But now, I can tell just how strong he really is, and what he's got I, that I haven't. But I'm getting stronger too, maybe not as fast as you, but fine, whatever. Thanks for letting me battle you again, and here, I'll heal up your team for you too. Thank you very much, I needed a heal after that. Yeah man, how's it going Wasp Ginger? I think I know what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee, I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion and I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Surchester. Okay, sure enough mate. If you want to get beaten again then... Who am I to stop you from wanting that to have happen? What is that? Oh that's one of those like... Jika Vault or whatever it's called. I saw them. I saw one of those earlier. Uh, in like one of the wild area parts and I wanted to catch it and it was like level 40 something. Uh, right, let's see if we can train up Morgrim a bit because I think Morgrim evolves on level 42. I was I was chatting with one of my mates at work today who's also got this game and just showing him some of the Pokemon in it and whatever and I was doing some research on what levels Pokemon would evolve and all of this sort of stuff. And yeah, I think Morgrim evolves on level 42 into something that looks quite epic. So hopefully we might be able to... Um, okay, so straight away, none of its dark type moves actually do anything. So we're going to have to uh, switch Morgrim out. Uh, let's go ahead and put in Rillaboom. Although I don't know, I don't know, actually know if Rillaboom will do anything. Colossal, Colossal we know has fire type moves and that looks like a fly, so... <laughs> I feel like a fire type attack would be more than super effective against it. I also love Coalossal, he's definitely one of my favourite Pokemon in this new gen. I mean, just look at him. Just look at him, he's an absolute tank. Right, let us just incinerate it. Hopefully we can kill it in just one hit. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, it's just an attack. I thought it was a maybe stat lowering move, but... Bye bye Ribombi. Oh, how's it got one HP left? Right, Flame Charge. Definitely not as fast as a Ribombi, you know, considering we're just a giant pile of rocks. But please don't be paralyzed. There we go. Thank you and good night. Bye bye Ribombi. Hopefully, you can give us a decent amount of XP as well. How's your day been, Wasp? You been up to, up to much today? Yo, Rillaboom up to level 40. That's what I'm talking about. A Vespiquen, you say? See, the only other Pokemon that I would switch it out to would be Corbinon, because I know that it would be super effective. Uh, or I can just leave it on Colossal. Let's just leave it on Colossal. I know he's paralyzed, but then again, I know Vespiquen is a B, so hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can take it out fairly quickly. Defend order. I'll stop using the defend order, attack order, and all of that bullshit, please. Can't be asked for that. Done nothing. Done nothing today, man. I am. I am jealous of you. I am absolutely 100% jealous of you doing nothing. No, I've been. I was working. I was at work all day. I've come home, and now I'm just chilling out in the evening. Play this until maybe half seven, eight o'clock, and then just chill out a bit more. What I might start doing is I might sort of alternate between Pokemon and FIFA in terms of live streams. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying Pokemon, but I don't want it to just be Pokemon on here. I might even delve into playing some other games as well. If you guys have got any suggestions on what games you want to see me play, then just let me know. Um, drop a message in the chat and maybe I'll see what I can do. Um, obviously I'm not going to be, you know, spending 
X amount of money every single week on a new game because I just don't have that amount of money to be able to be doing that and make it a viable option at the moment. But nonetheless, if there's a game that you guys want to see me play, I will do everything in my power to uh, to see if I can do that. So yeah, let, let me go, let me know if you want to see me play anything that isn't Pokemon or FIFA. What I also want to start doing is, well, I first need to. Um, first need to get the online for Nintendo and then I want to start battling against other players in tournaments and stuff. I want to see if I can get good at a competitive Pokemon but I, I highly doubt that because all of the uh, competitive Pokemon players really know their shit and I just don't. Um, you want me to You want me to play Fortnite? I mean, dude, come on. I, can I be honest, I've never played Fortnite in my entire life. I, I have never touched Fortnite. I mean, if it's something that you want to see me play, I will certainly give it a go. But it's not going to be great. I don't, I don't understand Fortnite. I'm, I'm average at shooting games, let alone, uh, let alone having to shoot and build and you know figure out where I'm going and what I'm doing half the time. Um, ah, okay. I don't want to go that way. I'll maybe want to. Wait, can I go this way? You can't silence the yell team. She's cute. She's tough. She won't take no one's scarf. Almani. She's Almani. Okay, I can't go that way. I can't go that way anyway. There is this Jikavolt. Is that what it's called? It's called a Jikavolt, I think it is. Gal Galvantula. Okay, cool. Apex. Yeah, I play Apex Legends. Again, I'm okay at it. I, I'm not that great when I go into just like a random party of people. I also, I don't know if I can record party chat yet, or I don't. I haven't figured out how to record party chat on um, on Xbox. Um, but when I do figure that out, it'll be certainly something that I want to play. And I know a bunch of, or I say a bunch of my mates. One of my mates is actually really incredible at it. Like whenever I play with him, nine times out of ten, we'll always be inside. You know. The, the final three teams to be alive. Um, even though I don't really tend to contribute too much. I mean, I'm getting better at Apex. I'm just not at that. I'm not at that level yet where I feel confident in uh, in my own ability. There we go. Morgrim up to level 39. Hopefully, I think three more levels until Morgrim evolves. So maybe on this stream, maybe on the next one. Let's go up against this guy. Being a taxi driver means I've got to be ready anytime, anywhere. Pokemon battles are the same. Anytime, anywhere. Yep. And that time is right here, right now. Come on in, Cabby Bruce. I do have Rocket League. I do have Rocket League. Again, Rocket League's one of the... So I played Rocket League when it was... Do you remember, so before Rocket League, back on the PS3, it came out as a free game and it was called Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars. And basically Rocket League is the sort of evolution of that. It was exactly the same concept, but I used to play that a ton. I used to play that a ton back in high school. Um, and yeah, like I say, I have Rocket League, not great at it. Um, Again, like I'll, I'll say that a lot of times. You, you'll understand me sooner or later. I just keep saying, yeah, I'm not great. I'm not great at this. I'm not great at that. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not one of the people who will sort of blow their own trumpet and say, yeah, I'm great at this. I'm great at that. I know I'm not. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up for. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm open to, to playing some new games. Um, like I say, Rocket League would be one of those games. I mean, I could play it with random people, but. It would certainly be one of those games that I'd want to sit down with people and actually chat with them and mess around and whatever, have some fun. Because um, I know a lot of people on Rocket League are just proper, like, super into it. And I'm just not that kind of player. I don't want to take any kind of games competitively seriously. You know, even if I was to play a competitive, a competitive game, I, I know I wouldn't take it too seriously. I'd just have fun with it. You know, if I was to play Pokemon, uh, online against other people, I'll probably just make like a troll team and completely, you know, you just have a bunch of Pokemon that just protect half the time. Alright, let's go over to here and let's shake the tree. Yes, we do want to shake the tree. How many berries do we get? 
three Aspear Berries. Let's shake it one more time. Do we want to shake it a third time? Do we want to shake this tree a third time? I don't know if we do. Do we want to shake the tree a third time, guys? Let me know if you want to see us shake the tree one more time and risk losing the berries that we currently have on the ground. Or do you want me to just uh, quit and let's accept the five berries that we have and let's just move on. Let me know. Alright, I'm going to do a countdown. I'm going to do a countdown. I'm waiting to see if there's anything in the chat. Three. Two. One. Oh, I can't see anything in the chat. Maybe the chat's delayed, but I'm sorry guys. We're going to shake it one more time anyway. Oh, we took the risk. Oh, and this bloody giant. Look at him. Big old chubby and squirrel. Look, he looks like he's just swallowed about 10 acorns. Uh, let us go ahead and Dark Pulse. Still got more room. Ah, you wanted me to shake it anyway, yeah. I shook it, but I was like, you know what, why not? Uh, let us sucker punch it. I really want Morgan to learn a fairy type move. Because it's meant to be a dark fairy type move. I mean, those dark type moves at the moment. Oh man, that was a hefty hit. Uh, let us switch our Pokemon. Let's put Dreadnought in. Yo, Wash, do you have Rocket League? Because, I mean, if you've got Rocket League on PC or, or anything, or on Xbox, then. You know, I'll be more than welcome. I'll be more than happy to, uh, to play some with you. Nah, that move doesn't. Okay, neither Pokemon can run away. That move didn't do as much damage as I would have hoped. Let's just rock to me. Oh, come on. Choosing rest. No, no, it's going to recover its HP. Go away, you stupid fat squirrel. Oh my gosh. Oh, please. Why? Why, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Alright, let us use another rock tomb. So annoying. See, this is the sort of team that I would build. Just have a bunch of Pokemon with high HP, nothing's effective against them, and then just teach them rest and teach them all of these really stupid moves that that annoy me. But it's using rest again. I mean, I know I could, I know I could run away from the battle. I think I could run away from the battle, maybe. This is so annoying. I think me using this jaw lock has meant that I can get Dreadnought out of the battle. Which is just so long. Oh my gosh, please. There's got to be something that I can do to just like one-hit KO it. Like, there's got to be an item that I can use to one-hit KO this stupid, stupid squirrel. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about this. I am I'm so sorry about this. It woke up, please don't thank you, it's not using rest. But it doesn't matter what I'm going to do, because it's probably going to rest anyway. Please. Please. Okay, use counter, that's fine. That's fine, I don't care. I don't care about that. That's fine. Please, end my suffering. I don't want to be in this battle anymore. Please. One more, one more. Okay, it's fine, it's using counter, it might kill me. Oh, Dreadnought just about stays alive. Come on, water gun, please hit. Thank God. Oh my word. Ah, oh, that was the longest battle in my entire life. We didn't even get that that much of a decent XP boost from it either. That was just that was so frustrating. All right, we picked up some berries. One Ganon berry, one Lechi berry. Not the best, but you know what? We're gonna have to take it. Seems to be a bunch of uh, bunch of Pokemon just walking around. I don't know if I want to actually battle any of them. I feel like I want to just continue this way through Route 7 and Route 8. I think I've spent enough time uh, trying to deal with that, um, whatever it's called, the giant squirrel in the tree. I forget its name. 
spent too much time trying to deal with that and I feel like I just want to get out of this area and move on. Let's go on to Route 8. I don't know why the map is like that. I can't actually see where I am, but I know that I'm sort of over to the right hand side. Oh, this place looks cool. This place looks cool. What is that? That's not a timber. That's that's something else. What what is that? It's not a timber. It's a girder. Girder. There we go. Yeah, girder. Morgrum. Maybe some of your moves might be effective against it. Maybe. Maybe not. Definitely not. Maybe we need to we need to send out. Or beetle to use some psychic type moves on the fighting type. All right, let's go ahead. Psychic has to kill it. Has to kill it. Right. Has to kill it. Easy, easy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. What on all beetle? Such an underrated Pokemon. You know, from when I got it as a blip bug, I was like, hey, look, it's going to be like one of these weird catapy sort of evolution tree things. And no, it's turned out to be a hell of a lot better than that. Ah, uh, go away, Ruffit! Stupid thing. Rufflet. Oh. I like it. I like the fact that they have Pokemon in the wild, but the fact that you can alert them and they just run towards you really annoys me. Because nine times out of ten, there's no way of escaping. Unless you want to just completely run out of the screen. And right there, I didn't feel like I had the option to do that. Okay, Tailwind. So, what does that mean? Is that they're going to, like, attack? Or that their attack is going to be boosted, I think? Scary bit like speed. Uh, speed doesn't really matter. Over half of his health, that's fine. Let's use Dark Pulse again. We might have to swap Morgrim from the first Pokemon in our party very soon, just purely based on the uh, PP that we have left on some of its moves. Come on Morgan, please level up. Okay, Coalossal went up to level 41. Again, I'm not sure what level our Pokemon need to be uh, for the next gym. I'd imagine around like 45 or so. I'm not sure uh, we can get away with Morgan up there. I think I'm going to maybe maybe we should put Orbital in first. I know Morgan's about to level up. Let's go down here. Let's see what is down here. There's a trainer down here as well. Let's see. For the scientist, I shall closely examine the health of your Pokemon. Thank you very much. You tell me how healthy they are. Dr. Joanna. Alright, Dr. Joanna. What have you got for me? Roselia. Oh, right. Roselia. So, come on, Gorm. Cool. Come on, Orbital. Orbital. Oh, yes. Let's just be psychic. Let's get it over with. I think it's a fairy type. Is it a fairy type? Maybe it's a dark type. I don't know. I don't know what Roselia is. I know, I know it's a grass type. But obviously, it has to be a grass and something type. Oh, there we go. Three level ups. Orbital up to 41. Morgan up to 40. Morgan wants to learn nasty plot. What is that? Does that like up its attack? Special attack. Uh, yeah, let's give it a torment. Or swagger. Uh, yeah, let's give it a swagger. I've never really been one for using swagger. Raising the opponent's attack, making it confused, but there's always that risk that the confusion won't hit. Um, and it's always a, it's always a pain. And now he's, they, they, they want me to teach Corby Knight Swagger. I'm keeping my old moves. I'm sorry. Like I just said, I don't really like uh, the risk that comes with that uh, hat trim. Hat trim is a what fairy type? Is it? Or is it a normal type? Either way, we're gonna we're just gonna send him Rillaboom. Actually, we're gonna send him Rillaboom. Let's see how that goes. Rillaboom. Whoa. I mean, I personally think out of, out of the three like, final evolution of the start Pokemon, that Rillaboom is definitely the best sort of aesthetically looking one. I mean, it's just a gorilla with drumsticks, you know. What's not to love? Um, I, I personally love it. I mean, when you have a move called drum beating and he just bangs his drum, what is there not to love about that? I mean, there might be, 
you know, maybe I ha maybe it's just me being biased and I haven't played with the other starters, but I feel like Willaboom is just cool. He's just super cool looking. The Inteleon that Hop used against us didn't look that great. When Pokemon aren't healthy, it drags our move down to... Yep, that's true. That's true. If my Pokemon aren't healthy, it certainly makes me sad. Alright, let's go up here. Don't even know which way we're meant to be going. I know there's another Gerda. Gerda, go away. Walk in the other direction. Is there anything over here? Oh yes, there's an item. A shiny stone. A peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It shines with dazzling lights. Cool. Uh, we are going to... We'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that for now, especially if there is a Gerda over here, which we can fight, and then we can just use all beasts to kill it straight away. Alright. Here we go. Let's use Confusion. Yeah, no, Wasp, if you've got Rocket League on Xbox or something, then I'll be more than happy to, you know, sit down and play some of it with you. Like I say, I don't, I don't know if I actually can have can have a party chat recorded just yet. Um, we'll have to see if I can figure something out. I tried to record party chat a few weeks back when I was playing some games with my mates and it just didn't work out. Otherwise, I would have uh, recorded some stuff and uploaded it. And I can say every time I jump into games with my friends, I would record and upload. But something not not quite right with the way that the uh, the whole system is uh, capturing the sounds from the Xbox. So that's why I didn't manage to get that done. Certainly something I want to do in the future, for sure. Okay, let's go up here. Again, I don't know what... I don't know what direction I'm meant to be going in. I imagine, like, further up. Oh, what the hell is that? What is that thing? I need to catch me that. I need to catch that. I definitely need to catch that, whatever the hell that is. I don't even care that I just picked up a TM. I'm too fixated on whatever the hell that is. It looks like a giant caterpillar. Look at that. Look at it. I need to catch that. I need to catch that. There's 100%. 100% I need to catch that Pokemon. Speaking of, uh, let's swap Orbeetle for Dreadnought. Let's go. Let's go down here. Take on another Gerda. Hey, it's nice to see that we've actually got like Pokemon that are scaled to our level as well at the moment. That we can get a decent amount of XP from and it's not that difficult to beat. Oh, uh, Rock Tomb, uh, Water Gun is the only effective move. Again, I wish I had like Water Pulse or something. Dynamic Punch, is that going to kill us? I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it, it's a Rock type. Rock type against Spike and never goes well. Uh, we, I mean, we, of course we want to use an X-Pokemon. You know what, we're just going to use War Beetle to try and take it out while we're dealing with this. Having said that, it's probably going to kill us. Let's just use Psychic, come on. Please. There we go, there we go. Never in doubt. I didn't worry a bit there. Did not worry at all. Dreadnought gets nothing. Uh, Morgrim, Morgrim, doing okay. Morgrim just needs like moves with higher PP, it seems. Higher proportions, they'll always come in handy. Right, let's go and sort out the Dreadnought situation because that's not great. Uh, do we have revives? I want to use a max revive. Just Dreadnought, revive it back, and then let's also heal it with a super potion. And we'll give a super potion to Morgrim to while we're at it. Why the hell not? Okay, let's let's get moving. What the hell is that thing? Is that like a more peco or something? I don't know what that is. I think that's a more peco. I don't necessarily want one of you right now, more peco. Let's just go ahead and yeah. Okay, so we've got Dreadnought in our first spot. Is this a Golux? Is that what it's called? Golet. Golet. All right. Come on, Dreadnought. You can do it. Let's just rock to me. I don't know if this is going to be effective. I can't remember what type of Pokemon Go let is. Okay, Psychic Ghost type? A Ghost type? 
I remember it being a ghost type. Maybe it's just because I never, um, never bothered to catch it. I think it's a ghost ground type. It might be a ghost ground type. It might be a dark ground type. Like I think. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's not effective against me. But water gun is effective against it, so I'm assuming it's going to be a ground type. Or maybe a rock type. I don't know. Nonetheless, it's dead. It's fine. Dreadnought might go up another level. No, not quite. Not quite. Working there, working there, Dreadnought. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. There seems to be another one over here, so a perfect opportunity to maybe go up a level. Wild Golet. Go on, Dreadnought. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Now we know that Water Gun is super effective. Seems that Jawlock is also super effective against it, so let's go ahead and use that as well. Heavy Slam, is that going to kill us? No, no, it's fine. It's fine, guys. Crisis averted. Jaw lock. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe we can go up another level. There we go. Just about. Dreadnought up to level 41. It's good. It's good. Making good progress. Like I say, I think maybe like level 45 is maybe what we need to be on. Don't know. I see that caterpillar thing walking around. There's one here. I'm gonna go over here. There's a soul rock just there as well. I'm gonna go down and battle this soul rock because I know it's a fire water type, or fire rock type even. And obviously, Dreadnought is a water rock type. So let's go ahead and use water gun. It's not even that effective. Not even that effective for a super effective attack. Ooh. That's not good. That is not good at all. Um, let's go ahead and use Corviknight. Send in the cavalry against the Corviknight. I don't know what that means. I don't know what exerting pressure means. Alright, let's just go ahead and fly. Even solar beam. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna miss us. It's gonna miss us, right? Is it gonna miss us? Cause we're flying. Or does it still hit us? Oh, okay. Yes, we missed. That's that's what I'm talking about. Oh, it doesn't even do that much. Come on, still wing. Solar beam. We're gonna definitely get hit by this this time. Ooh, Steel Wing! Super effective, I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. I'll take that, I'll take that. I'll take that. Good little bit of XP there. Let's go back around. And let's see if we can catch this thing. Not too sure what it is. Not too sure if it's going to be any good or what's good against it. I'm assuming it's a Caterpillar. I shouldn't have used a super potion, I should have used a hyper potion. I will just super potion it twice then. I'm assuming it's a caterpillar type Pokemon. Oh, I say a type Pokemon. It looks like a caterpillar. Maybe we need to put Colossal in the first spot to take it on. I want to fight you. I don't know what you are, but you look crazy as all hell. A wild Fowling. Is that say Phalanx? What's it called? Phalanx. Maybe we can flame charge it. It's using Endure. Which is good. Which is good actually. This is a super effective. Okay, it's not. It's not super effective. Hmm. I don't know what type it is. I don't know what type of Pokemon this is. It's using reversal. Oh okay, that's that's fine. Maybe incinerate it again and hope for the best. Okay, it's enduring, so we know we can't kill it. Which is good, because I kind of want to catch it. Even though I don't know what it is. That's fine. Uh, let's not battle it. Let's throw a Pokeball at it. Come on. Come on, Phalanx. Oh, wow. Okay, straight away. Reversal. I'm sure that shouldn't do anything. 
I shouldn't do anything! That should not do anything to me. I mean, we burnt it, so now it's probably gonna die. Damn! I mean, I know there's another one running around. Ah, uh, we killed it. We don't even get any XP from it. Oh. Colossal doesn't get any XP from it because it died, which is not great. Oh well, looks like we're gonna have to try and go after it the next time we see it, and maybe use a great ball or something more effective than just a standard Pokeball to try and catch it. So that didn't go well, <coughs> but what I'm gonna do as well, probably <coughs> move Morgan back to the top of the party just for now. I know he's still running low on some of his moves. Oh, there's something shiny over here. What is this? A pixie plate. An item held by a Pokemon. It's a stone tablet that boosts power of fairy type moves. Don't have any fairy type Pokemon. Oh, what is that? That's the, um. Uh, I've forgotten his name. I've forgotten his name. But I know it's a rock type. Right. Making our way through this. Boldor. I didn't think it was good that. Okay, let's go ahead and hit it with a water gun. <coughs> almost, almost. One more hit, Dreadnought. One more hit, Dreadnought. One more hit with a water gun. Should do it. Alright, there we go. Easy as you like. All bees will up to level 42. That's what I'm talking about. Another Max Revive has been found. What is over here? Ah, go away! A Whoa! A Santa Cobra! Is that what that... That, that uh, snake Pokemon evolved into? Definitely looks like it. See, we saw Hop use one of these, and then we also saw one of the TPL grunts trying to keep it asleep. So we're going to try and see if we can catch this. It looks like it's a ground type. But I don't know. Rock Tomb, if that not want to kill it, please don't kill it. Okay, it's not going to kill it. Maybe use that again and then catch it. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. <coughs> yeah, let's see if we can catch it now. Catch it, bin it, kill it. Even Glare, what does that do? Paralyze me straight away, okay. Uh, let's throw a Pokeball at it. <coughs> see how this goes. One. Two. Three. Oh, it was close. Close. Oh, it's using Dig as well. It's using Dig. Uh, I can't even throw a Pokeball at it. You know what, I'm just going to change my Pokeball then. If that's how it wants to play, I'm going to send it Fortnite. Because I know it can't hit me then. And then just try and catch it again. You know, we just have to try and catch it again. Alright. Sandstorm went away. The Rude is no longer here. One. Two. Three. Ah, oh, again! Again! I was just listening to the sound there, and I knew, I knew as soon as I heard that. Let's just phone crawl so we don't waste the PP move. So frustrating, guys. So, so frustrating. Uh, let's use a great ball on it. Come on. Come on. Come on. One. How does that even work? I don't understand how that even works. 
How do you use a great one? You've got a higher chance of catching a Pokemon. Uh... Let's use... A level ball, why not? I don't know what it does. Wait, it's just a lower level than our Pokemon, so maybe it'll work. Two... Three... There we go, Jesus. Oh my word, that was so difficult to catch. Alright, we've got a Santa Conda. Corviknight up to level 43 as well. Morgrim and Colossal and Dreadnought all very close. So is Rillaboom as well, in fact. Let's check this out. Santa Conda, a ground type. When it contacts its body, over 220 pounds of sand sprays from its nose. If it ever runs out of sand, it becomes disheartened. Oh man. We'll send you to a box for now, Sandaconda. Let's sort out our Pokemon situation. You are paralyzed. Don't want you to be paralyzed. We will also I don't I don't have any like just normal potions. I don't think I've got any orange berries either. Hmm. Please get away from me! Go there! Uh, please, right, I think this might actually be a battle that I want to run away from. Can't be asked with you. I cannot be asked with you, go uh, there. Uh. Alright, alright. There is a Pokemon trainer over here. See me! My live concert is open to all, and you'll be attending. I mean... I don't want to attend, Musician Charles. I do not want to attend your music concert. Does he have gold teeth? It looks like he's got gold teeth, right? What, even Pokemon, what is that? A Togedemaru? What the? Was that one that I thought... Was that the Pokemon that I thought was a... Um, what do you call it? I forgot his name already. That looks like a Pikachu. Look, it's definitely just a Pikachu ripoff. But it's not, because it's not electric type, although it is, but it's not. Hmm. Alright, I see how it is. I see how it is. Send out Colossal. Let's see how this goes. We forget him up. Just sounds like such a weird name. It's just that it's. Are you. Are you Pikachu in disguise? You know, it's like what they're singing from the stands in the, all of the stadiums. Oh, you Pikachu in disguise. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Get out of here. I don't care about your iron barbs. There we go. Three level ups Colossal, Dreadnought, and Morgrim. Morgrim almost evolving on level 42. One more level for Morgrim, and he'll evolve. Great for us. Check out his final evolution. Alright. What the? Oh, that's one of those crab things. Forget what it's called. Ah! Right, 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 right. We need to, we need to be organised for this. Still don't know what type of Pokemon that thing is. But I want to catch it. Alright. I, I want to catch that Pokemon. Because it looks super derpy, basically. So I want to catch this caterpillar Pokemon. Um, I don't know what to use on it. Maybe we just put Rillaboom in there and, and hope for the best. I don't want to kill it though. Maybe we use a quick ball straight off the bat. Where is it gone? Where's it gone? Where did it go? There it is. There it is. It just looks like such a cool Pokemon. Like, the fact that it's just like six of them in a line. The way it's stepping left and right. Bloody hilarious, man. Choosing Endure. That's fine. That's fine by me. Grass Pledge. Uh, Razor Leaf, maybe. Hopefully it doesn't kill itself. Please don't kill it, please don't kill it. Thank god, thank god, thank god. Right, let's use a quick ball. 
because it's actually fairly close to the start of a wild encounter. Maybe it might work. No, it's definitely not. What Pokemon is there? Do we have an Ultra Ball? We can use an Ultra Ball. Alright. What is this thing? What is this thing? I don't have that many... I don't have that many Pokeballs left. Oh man. Oh my gosh, what is this thing? She shoots Pokeballs on it. I don't know what's going on with this. Please, please, please. Yes! Oh! How does that even work? How do you use a Pokeball and it catches it and an Ultra Ball doesn't? I don't, I've never understood that. Rillaboom up to level 42. Oh! What, what even type is this thing? It's a fighting type. Huh! Five of them are troopers and one is the brass. The brass's orders are absolute. No, I wouldn't like to give it a nickname. I want to check its summary. That, that is, I mean, that's just such a dope Pokemon, isn't it? Got high HP, high attack. Hard armor protects Pokemon from critical hits. No retreats. Uh, I, I wanted to, I wanted to check the moves. I pressed the button. No retreat, this move raises users, all of the user's stats but prevents the user from switching out or fleeing. First impression only works the first turn each time a user enters battle. Mm. Reversal, an all out attack that becomes more powerful the less HP the user has. Endure, so you endure it down to 1 HP and then just reversal. Reversal, 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 right? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to keep it in my party for now, but I think it's like a cool Pokemon. I like the I like the design behind it. I like the fact that they walk left and right in a, in the same uh, in the same pattern, which is quite quite uh, quite funky. Uh, okay, got to go that way. Let's go up here. Can we, can we go left? I think we can go left, right? I want to go up against this thing. What is it? There we go. Crustle. That's what it's called. Quilla boom, you're gonna hit it with all you've got. The drum beating, bang that drum. Not that effective, but over half of its uh, health gone. Oh no, no, no! I hit it with the drum beating again. Oh, I should have caught it. I should have caught it. Should have caught it. Maybe that's the only time I'll see it. Maybe it might have spawned back at a later date, but I should have caught that to be fair. Oh well. Oh well. We uh, we live and we move on. Oh, there's something over here. Brick brain. Cool. There's something up there as well. What is that? Oh, it's just it's just a just a bucket. I thought it was something cool over there. Let's head to the right. Before that, we are obviously gonna. Use a hyper potion on Red Boom. Maybe even put. Ah, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I just wasted a hyper potion. I was, what I was meant to do is I was meant to move Morgan to the top. To see if we can get him to evolve before we actually get to the uh, final gym. Seems like that's going to be a double battle. Uh, yeah, Morgan and Cole also can take that on. That's, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. I'm super cute, but I'm carrying super duper strong Pokemon. Succeeding as a businessman depends on communication. I get along perfectly with my Pokemon. Oh, I'm sure you do, mate. I'm sure, I'm sure you do. Alright, colleagues Allison and Jordan. Alright, Allison sent out Hippodon and Excadrill. Oh. Tough nuts to crack. Sandstream whips up the sandstorm. Uh, this is not good. looking great, is it? Dark Pulse, Extra Drill, uh, Incinerate, both of them. Metal Claw, is that kill Morgan? 
Oh, make sure to attack Kaya. Dark Pulse probably not going to be effective against his own in that case, is it? Ah, not too bad. Oh, yes, Excadrill being the Steel type. Just don't, don't kill Morgan, please. Please, Hippodon, don't do, don't do that to me. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's going to kill it. Not quite, not quite, not quite. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Morgan. Hmm. Hmm. Let's send in Dreadnought. And then I think I'm gonna actually remember. Oh, one of them. Cario. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've seen you, old friend. It's been a long time since I've seen Oli Cario. I'm actually gonna go ahead and revive the Morgan. Just so they can get XP. Just so they can get XP. It's literally the only reason why. Power Punch. No! Stop that, Lucario. Stop that. Incinerate. Burn a lot of them. No. No. Oh, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, sir? It's not okay, man. Um, let's use Water Gun on Hippodon. And then let's just incinerate the both of them again. Hopefully Lucario doesn't kill it. Please don't kill it. Okay, that's fine. This incinerate should kill both of them. Should kill both of them. Yep, there we go. There we go. Never in doubt. I didn't panic. I panic at all. Ooh. Juicy, juicy XP. Perserker. Man, what the hell? Uh, let us use Rock Tomb on the Perserker and then let us Flame Charge the Perserker as well. Break out, I'm trying to make him flinch. Ah, I did. It succeeded in making him flinch. Although Perserker might be a Steel type in this team. Doesn't look like a uh, Grass type. And Flame Charge is super effective against it, so that's what I can only assume. Rock 2, not that effective. But, let's get out of here, let's get out of this sandstorm. There we go. There we go. Killed the Perserker. Hopefully, Morgan might level up. Oh, Morgan, you're so close to leveling up. I know you evolve on level 42 as well. Colossal up to level 43, I'm not going to complain about that. But I know that Morgan revolves on level 42. Literally, any battle that we win should get Morgan to evolve. Which is what I'm wanting to have happen before I continue on to the next gym. Oh, what's down here? Secret routes, see? That's why you always have to explore everywhere. An item to be held by a Pokemon, it extends the duration of the terrain caused by the holder's move or ability. Ah, okay. Uh, that's good if you want to have like a terrain based uh, Pokemon. <coughs> I don't want to go to your camp. I never, I don't understand the whole concept of camps. I think that through there is where the next city is. So like I say, I kind of want to have my... Oh, okay, so it does respawn back. But I kind of want to... I kind of want to have Morgrim evolve. I'm not too sure what the quickest way to do that is. Maybe we swap Ball Beetle in and then fight that Phalanx before it goes away. So no, I, I now know it's a uh, fighting type, so therefore I can use a psychic type move on it. Hello, Cordelia. How's it going? Cordelia Ceviche? Am I saying that right? Sounds like a uh, sounds like an Italian name. Please don't be offended if I'm wrong, but it sounds like a very, very cool name. How are you today? There we go, one hit with the Phalanx. Alright, I'm hoping that Morgum evolves level 42, three level ups, or Beetle up to level 43, Morgum up to level 42, and Dreadnought up to level 43 as well. Here we go, I think we're going to have an evolution, guys. Yep, there we go, Morgum is evolving. 
Oh, let's check this out. What is it evolving into? Oh, look at that beast. Look at that, a Grim Snarl. Oh, I wouldn't want to wake up to that in the morning. You're good, that's good. It's good to hear that you're doing good, Cordelia. Hope you've had a good day. Dark Fairy type, with the hair wrapped around its body, helping to enhance its muscles, this Pokemon can overwhelm even Match Arm. Look at that. Grim Snarl wants to learn Spirit Break. What does Spirit Break do? Is it a Fairy type? Yes, it is. The user attacks the target with so much force that it can break the target's spirit. <laughs> this also lowers the target's special attack special attack stat. I don't know, I couldn't speak there. Let's get rid of Torment. Let's get rid of Torment. Let's teach it its first fairy type move. It looks like a beast. It's got three spikes on its head. Look at that, its ears and its nose. <coughs> good morning? Where where are you from? If, it's, if you're saying good morning, you must be what? Are you from America? It's definitely not morning from where from where I am. It's seven o'clock in the evening. Whereabouts are you from, Cordelia? Whereabouts are you watching this from? Uh, I kind of don't want to use any potions because I'm probably going to get to a gym. Okay, there we are. There we are with a flag. Oh no, we're not even. We're not even at the gym. Damn, this is this is a long way to get to Sir Chester. I thought we were about to get to Sir Chester right away, just then, but it turns out we're not. We are we are coming up on some ice type Pokemon it would seem. Go away! Go away! Oh my god. Oh, I hate it when they hate it when they just run after you like that. I hate it when they run after you like that. Right, let's just. I mean, it's fine because we've got all beetle and we can just kill it in one move. Why are you retaliating? What the hell is that animation, though? That looks. That's a cool animation. I don't know why it's retaliating against me, you know, I've done nothing to it. I mean, I'm always going to kill it, but. Hopefully the hail kills it for me. Yeah, there we go. The hail killed it. You're from Australia. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's cool. How's it going over there in Australia? What, what time is it over there? I guess I don't know how many hours Australia are ahead of us. Seven o'clock in the evening. I'm guessing what it must be like maybe five in the morning. I don't know. Five, four in the morning. Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Let me know what time it is over in Australia. Um. All right. Maybe I do want to use a couple of potions because my Pokémon are relatively low on health. And that's not good. Let's. Uh, use a super potion on all beetle and on colossal uh, and on grim snarl as well and we're actually going to swap grim snarl into the first place in our party so that we can check out some of his uh, moves some of his uh, I say some of his moves I say I say that I mean let's check out his new move that he just learned gym challenger if it's all right I will be your training partner Yes, you can be my training partner. Police Officer Bobby. What, what, you know, what a typical British name that is, isn't it? Arcanine. In the snub. Kidding me, right. I just want to use Spirit Break just to see what it does. It's not very effective, so I'm not going to use Spirit Break. I am actually just going to wuss out and go to Dreadnought because I know Dreadnought knows at least one water type move, so it might might be enough to kill this Arcanine. Man, I've got someone watching from Australia. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, come on. Right. It's only level 37 though, so it might be able to kill it. Shoot water gun. Get down it. Ah, uh, not quite, not quite. Fire fang against me. That's not going to do anything, mate. Sorry about that. Oh. Yeah. What time is it over there in Australia? Just starting your day, I guess. There we go. Arcanine is down. Easy as you like. Rillaboom and Corviknight, 43 and level 44 respectively, look at that. Cruising through the levels now. I think 45 might be what the next gym is going to be at. 
Bolton, yes we are going to switch Pokemon, yes we are going to go to Colossal. Alright. Let's see if we can't take this Bolton out relatively quickly, let's go Flame Charge it. I'm trying to use Crunch on me, it's not going to do much. It does lower my like, speed, defense, defense. It does however mean that they get burned, which is always great. Flame charge. About half of the health done. We get our little bit of a speed boost as well. So it gets hurt by hail. We get hurt by the hail, but then it gets the additional bonus of being hurt by our burn. So, let's go ahead and just use another flame charge. Still not quite fast enough. It's gonna nuzzle and paralyze us, which Ah, uh, it's annoying. It's annoying as all hell is what that is. But I don't know if I've got any immediate cures for paralysis at the moment. Uh, uh, mediocre XP, but I wasn't going to expect anything from that, to be honest. Thank you for your money, Police Officer Bobby. Ah, okay, so it's just, it's just here. Hmm, the map is really deceiving. I thought it was going to be quite far away. Feels like we might be coming up against an ice type gym. Don't know what that symbol is meant to represent, but I would judge based on the weather. We might be coming up against a ice type gym. I hear that Pokemon and Pokeballs are boxes are nice and comfortable. I bet they are. I bet they are. What we're gonna do though is we're gonna do what we do in every single city that we visit is head straight to the Pokemon Center, give our Pokemon a quick heal. Look at that, look at that beast of a team. Dreadnought may be looking like the only one that's not. I'd say Dreadnought is a good Pokemon, don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed playing with it, but I just need, I need a Pokemon that's got more water type moves. Maybe it'll learn one very very soon and it'll be great, but at the moment it's just not doing it for me. It's not doing it for me. Having a Pokemon there that only knows Water Gun to be the only Pokemon that can actually do anything against a uh, do anything against like a Fire type or or a um, or a Ground type, Rock type, whatever you want to call them. All right, we're actually going to go ahead and stock up on some more Pokeballs because I feel like I'm running out and Pokeballs seem to be doing okay for me. Uh, Great ball, let's get some of those as well, why not? Let's also get some Ultra Balls while we're here. Just in case, you know, just in case. Uh, yeah, let's get 10 Ultra Balls, just in case. Get some Premier Balls as well. Uh, I don't know, maybe actually, maybe I need to get some Ice Heals while I'm at it. Because, like I say, I feel like I'm going to be coming up against a Ice type gym leader very very soon. So maybe we've all stocked up on what we need there. Don't actually know where the gym is. I do I like the snowmen scattered around. Welcome to the town of Surchester. Buildings from an age long gone still stand about the steaming hot spring that covers the town. Oh we're on a hot spring. That's cool. Just keeping an eye on the town. Sometimes the only thing to do in the cold weather is have an ice cream. Can I have an ice cream then? Why aren't you gonna give me an ice cream? What's this guy saying? I'd really fancy catching a Vanillish, but catching Pokemon is a young person's game, by gum. I sure would be glad if someone would trade me a Vanillish for my throw. I don't I don't have one of those, sorry. Sorry mate, I'm sorry to let you down. I do not have a Vanillish. I don't know ice type Pokemon, but is there such a thing as a snowman Pokemon? I don't know. Maybe maybe? I don't think there is. This isn't the way that we have to go, is it? That, that looks like that's the way we want to go afterwards. Uh, I saw that there's a building here that we could go into. Don't know what this is. Let's go and explore. Ooh, this looks like a hotel of some kind. You're welcome to stay at either building of the Hotel Ionia, okay? Oh, it's a Noibat. Look at that. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to your owner, Noibat. I'm waiting for someone. My Noibat's using its ultrasonic waves to help look. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, oh, God. Ooh, what are you guys talking about? Hotels are the best. No need to worry about cleaning or laundry or anything. 
We've got tickets for their very front row seats in the stadium. Sometimes moves can come flying our way, but it's wicked exciting. Do people have the right to play music in the background when they stream live, or will they get hit by copyright? Um, I feel like if it's like an in-game thing, it's okay. Obviously, if it's like a copyrighted song that you want to listen to, then I don't feel like that will be a good idea to have anything like that in your video. Which is why I try to avoid it as much as possible, but these streams have been coming out relatively okay so far. I haven't had any anyone tell me, yo, you can't be using this uh, music in the background. It's not, it's not a song that I'm choosing, but um, yeah, I feel like if it's in the, an in-game sound, as long as it's not... I guess if it's an in-game sound... So like when I play FIFA, I don't have the songs on because I know that they're all copyrighted songs. So if they are like songs that are in the chart and stuff and well-known songs, then I feel like you can't have them in, if it, even if it's part of the game. But certainly if it's like a generic background sound, I feel like it's okay. I don't know. I mean, thanks for the question, uh, Christian Linneman. Is that how you, spell you, say, you say your name? Linneman? I think that's how you say it. That's how I would say it. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But yeah, um, yeah, I think it's okay. As long as it's not a copyrighted song, obviously. So that means culprit must be among us. What are you guys doing? Wait, who are you? After all the trouble of deducing things, don't go messing it up now. What are you doing? I suppose I should introduce myself. The name's Houses. Yes, that Houses, the great detective. I've been hired by the hotel. At present, I have honored the culprit of a most heinous crime. And that crime is... Ah, the strange case of who ate the large quantity of berries in the lobby. I've gathered the three people who were present in the lobby at the time of the crime. But because of the noise, my marvellous deductive reasoning seems somewhat muddled at present. Okay. That's it. You interfering child, you will be my assistant. Listen to the stories of each suspect and find the culprits. Okay, let's talk to this little kid. Just because you're a little kid doesn't mean that you didn't do it. <sighs> Where did my Pokemon go off to? Huh? Berries? I didn't eat them. Hey, you haven't seen my Pokemon around here, have you? Hmm. That detective sure seems like trouble, doesn't he? I will admit that I saw the mountain of berries, but my doctor told me to stop eating those things. I've got it in writing here. Hmm. What about you, Missy? Looks like you were unlucky enough to get caught up in this too. It was a huge pile of ber- It was a huge pile of berries in the lobby, right? There's no way I could have eaten that many. I've been saying that this whole time. Ah, it's the squirrel! It's the squovet! Ah, my Pokemon, where were you? Definitely the squovet. Definitely the squovet. The squovet did it. Look at it. You can see it's in its cheeks. It's hiding all of the berries in its cheeks. It shows a lot of berry juice on its mouth. It does. <laughs> After listening to everyone's accounts, I have deduced the culprit. Dancer, you are the culprit. What? Why me? Because you're a dancer. You move and shake your body so much that you needed all that food for extra energy. That is, that's evidence as clear as sharp as a leak on a far fetch. What? What does that even mean? No, you're no detective. You're a fraud. Who, who are you calling a fraud? You can't be referring to me, the great detective. I can't deal with this disrespect. I leave it to you to find the culprit. <sighs> It's... Yes! It's the Squovet! Come on, dude! It's a squirrel! Yes, look at it! Ah, that, it's true! It's got berry bits around its mouth! Yes, it's definitely at the berries! Definitely! Oh, you're right! I see it now! That I look more closely! Mancha! Of course it was a squirrel! As... As I expected of my assistant! Here, recompense for solving this mystery! Take it! Wide lens. What does that even do? Splendid. Just splendid. I'm overjoyed. I must be off now. Take care, everyone. Ah. Hey, you. Wait just a minute. Ah, I guess I'm supposed to chase after him, too. Oh, look at it. Can't be mad at you. Oh. Thanks for solving the case. Rover is saying you did good, too. Well, that's good. That's good, I'm glad I could be of assistance. Let's continue looking in this hotel, see what else, what else is going on in this hotel. 
That is a good rubbish, is it? Yeah, rubbish is so helpful. If it eats, it eats rubbish instead of taking tips. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, you know, that's one way to solve the world rubbish crisis is just have Pokemon eat them. Uh, what are you doing over here? The sounds of scratching glass or even screeching noises feel like they suck the energy right out of you, don't they? Take this TM. Is it going to be Screech? Yeah, there we go. I don't need TM Screech. Yo, Wasp Ginger's back in the chat. How's it going? Where did you, where did you, where did you head off to? Oh, it's a room full of Pikachus. Tears are powerful. When I see them, I let my guard down without even noticing. Do you want to use a TM that takes advantage of this power? Sure, what is that? Fake tears? There we go. Fake tears, crocodile tears, that's what we used to call them. My rock music, it ignites men's hearts, it brings women to tears. I don't need fake tears. I'll become the champion using a, an all Pikachu team. I'm sure you won't, but you know, who, who am I to judge what kind of Pokemon you want to use? Can we go up another level? Oh, can we keep going back down? I think we have to go back down. We're going to go back down. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That's all that we can explore in this hotel. Okay, so Wasp, we made it to the next town. We made it to Surchester. Is this the other side of the hotel? Is there something else that we can do in here? Oh, go away. I don't care about you. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to your owner. I can't sleep without Wimscott. Lovely floof. Oh, what are you saying? Buildings in Surchester are all built using the designs that go back a long time. We feel the weight of history from them. Anything over here? What are you guys talking about? Do you think we should head to Winden soon? I'd like to get get some sightseeing in along with watching a Champion Cup. Well, I'd like to go someplace where I can meet cute Ice-type Pokemon. Right here, I think. I think this is where we can get some cute Ice-type Pokemon. Maybe not cute, just Ice-type. Ever since I was a kid, the hallways of hotels have always made me feel like I've got lost somewhere. Let's check it out in here. What's going on over here? We came here to research a bit, but the Galar region is lovely, isn't it? The best part of all had to be enjoying the different toppings on all the curries. Curry is a big hit in Kanto too, you know. I'm completely obsessed with Rotom Valley. I can't get enough of it. Hello there, what's this? Did you need something from me? Right, why don't you run along now? But come back when you're strong as a champion, would you? Okay. Do you like Pokemon? Yeah, well thanks for that. I hope you always love them. Back to you in the studio. I, what what kind of nonsensical question was that? Why why did you have to ask that? Okay, and go! Oh, I missed again. It's harder than it looks to get a catch. Hmm. You, you look like you'd know the proper way to throw a Pokeball. Oh my gosh, she's playing Pokemon Go inside Pokemon, guys. Hear that background music? Yep, I made that. I'm a planner. My job is always to think, is to think of ways to play, so I suppose that means that playing yourself is my job. Hi, I'm the director. Well, look at you. You're trying to complete the Pokedex, are you? Thanks for that. Keep on searching out new Pokemon to catch. Oh, I know. I've just got one more thing to help you catch more and more Pokemon. A catching charm. Hold it. Holding it is said to increase the chance of getting a critical catch. Curiously, the charm doesn't shake much. Come back and tell me when you complete that Pokedex of yours. Okay. We'll do. Don't know if I'm actually going to ever complete this Pokedex. Depends if it expands to like the national decks, which is going to be insane. But I try my best to try and keep uh, to try and catch all of the Pokemon. Obviously, after I complete the game, only after you master basic moves can you engage in more advanced battles. That's what I learned from Karate. I heard that some wild Pokemon soak in hot springs to heal their injured bodies. They do. They do in Loveridge Town, back in like Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. That was where the hot springs were, wasn't it? My partner is a germaphobe. It's been and taking a shower forever, even though it's ground type. Yeah, I thought he was talking about like his girlfriend when he said partner, not his like Pokemon. That's why I got confused. Okay, so how are we doing on the stream? Hour and a half, almost coming up to my dinner time to be precise. I think there should be a hot spring over there. Maybe there's something that we can explore here. Seems to be a restaurant there, some side houses. I think I maybe want to end this episode by going up against this gym. 
think that's how I end this episode. I'm not sure what this gym is. Surchester Stadium. It's got to be a nice type gym, right? It has to be a nice type. There's absolutely no way it's anything other than an ice type gym. Ah, I lost. It went all to pop. There must be something wrong with my strategy. But I did just what I've seen Lee do in my battles. Here, take this. It's the... Ooh, it's the Rocks Gym... Rocks Leader... Rock Leader's League card. You should check it out. Gym Leader, you'll have to face two. Okay, who are we facing? George, Gordy? Geordie? And me. i got to figure out what to put on my team. One can go and for no more of this doubting. Yeah, cool. Uh, right. Pokeball guy. Hi, I'm the ball guy. I heard that a wishing star fell to you. That means you're chosen by the wishing star. That also means that you've got a Pokeball. I've got a Pokeball for you. A moon ball. Pokeball that will make it easier to catch Pokemon that can evolve using a moonstone. What a ridiculous, stupid Pokeball. Right. Why would you even have that as a Pokeball? Right, so it's a rock gym. Does that mean that Dreadnought is probably our best bet? Right, it probably does. Do we have any other water type TMs that we can teach to Dreadnought before we take on this gym? Water type TM. Uh, Whirlpool, it's not that great, is it? It's, just not, it's not that great. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything great. YOLO, we're just gonna go for it, you know. We're just gonna go for it. Welcome, Jim Talender. Do you want to attempt the gym mission? Of course I do. I need to change my uniform. The dressing room is this way. Alright. Make sure you see the trap detector up ahead too. You'll need it for the gym mission. Trap detector? Huh. I don't know what that means. I don't know what this gym is going to be. This is the rock gym. Gym number six. We need to get a trap detector? From this guy? Or is that what we're holding? Ah, it's one of those things. Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Sochester? Then allow me to explain a little bit about the trap detector you hold there in your hand. The reason you need it is simple, there are invisible pitfalls everywhere. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reach. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Okay, then on with you, and good luck. Let's go. Let's go. This way. Ah, I went the wrong way. Right. This way then. This way. So this here, here we go. Hey, you used to walk you hey, you used to walk around in search of the stadium yet? Not quite. Not quite. Obviously I've fallen down already once straight off the bat. Gym trainer Abigail. Let's go. Sending out a bold or we really need dreadnoughts to put in some work in this gym. Go ahead, water gun it. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Fine. Won't do too much to us. Let's use jaw lock. There we go, Boldor is down. Boldor, down and out for the count. We defeated Jim Trainer Abigail. Here we go. 3,648 poke dollars. Uh, which way do we go? This way. This way. No, not that way. This way. No, not that way. This way. Forward. No, no not that way. Yeah, we can maybe sneak past. There we go. Okay. Here's the first one. Oh, there we go. All right, up to the second area. Oh man, uh, walk straight forward. Turn left. Turn this way. No, not that way. Down. Not that way. This way. Walk 
forward, left, around here, around, this way, forwards. There we go. Okay, we made it onto this platform. Fight this trainer. Box ups are really, 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 really amazing, are they? I don't think I don't think they I mean they're okay. They're okay. Gym trainer Kira. Don't get me wrong, rock types are decent. It's not my favourite. Not my choice, not my go-to type. But they're decent. They're decent. Let's use Rock Tomb. Seems to be super effective against it. How do you have a rock type move that's super effective against a rock type Pokemon? I think Crustle might be a ground type as well. Stealth Rock, that's fine. I'm not going to be changing my Pokemon anytime soon. Let's go ahead and hit it with a water gun. Cool as you like. Cool as you like. Whoa, almost, almost Dreadnought. Ah, only one Pokemon as well. Only one Pokemon. Alright, which way do we have to go? Step up here. Not gonna be as simple as just going that way, is it? Gotta go around here. Ah, no, what? Ah, okay. So we, no, we can't go down there. We can't go that way. Did we, did we come the wrong way? This way? Nope. 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 Back down here. Nope. That way, nope. This way. Nope. Nope. Oh, I don't know which way to go! Which way can you go? Oh, come on! What even is this? I can't... I can't go across that way. Can I go across to just above it? Oh, okay, I can just go across to just above it. Why Why was that so difficult to even, like, figure out? Come on. Gym trainer Oliver, <laughs> let's go. Carco. Are we going to come up against a Colossal in this gym fight? Is that what they're going to be saving for us right at the end? Is it going to be a Colossal that we face up against? Are we going to have to go Colossal versus Colossal? I don't feel that that's wise, but might have to be done. Might have to be done, you know, just to see who's Colossal is better, but... Oh, Coco, come on. Don't, don't burn, don't burn. Fine. Speed, you can do all the speed you want. Just because Rock Doom, hopefully, will reduce that speed. Oh my god, it's doing move faster. No, it's gonna kill me. No, not quite, not quite. There we go. You as you like. Super effective. We know that Rock Doom is super effective against Parkour, so it's probably gonna be super effective against Coalossal as well. There we go, Dreadnought, up to level 44. Brilliant, just what I need going forward into this gym battle. God, God, he's amazing quality. Number two, he's lively and stylish. Cool. I feel like we need to. Okay, I can't hurt. Where do we go? Down. Oh, this is annoying. Can't go up. Which way do we go? Up and around. Like this. Oh, thank. Oh my gosh. Look how many times we fell down over there. Jesus. Is there going to be one more? Ah, oh, what? Ah, uh, I can't see. Uh, uh, this way. Not that way. Back, not, 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 
not this way, this way down, no, not this, not this way, up around here, uh, but right here, forward, forward, okay, we made it onto a platform, there's another platform over here, is there a Pokemon trainer, there is, right here, I can't see a thing, I genuinely can't see a thing, I'm just going based on the vibration that I'm feeling through my controller right now. Come on, Wendy. Wendy's sending out Pseudo Rudo. Oh, ah, the most annoying person in the world. Ah, well, not the most. One of the most annoying. Water gun. Come on, you're just gonna have to hit it with the water gun. Not quite. Not quite halfway. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's send in Orbeetle. Send in Orbeetle, see what Orbeetle can do. Let's use Psychic. Might kill it. There we go, there we go. Dreadnought getting no XP though is, is, is punishing. Orbeetle up to level 44 though. Calm Mind, what does that do? Like, raise the SP attack? attack and speed defense. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it a light screen. I haven't really been using light screen that much. So, we'll go ahead and delete uh, light screen for Calm Mind. Alright, Wendy, unlucky. Sorry about that, Wendy. Alright, we need to sort out this uh, Dreadnought situation because it's not great. Not great. Uh, let's go ahead and revive Dreadnought. I also realised I bought a bunch of ice, um, ice hills, which I don't actually need because I'm not going up against an ice type gym. It's a rock type gym. I don't think there's like a rock type status effect this way. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. From up, no, not up, down. This way. Forward. This way. Up. This way. Up, 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 up. This way, no, not this, this way. Not this way. Down, this way, no, not this way. Down, this way. Around. This way. Forwards. This way. This way, not this way. I see a platform, here we go. Oh, yes. Ah, no! No! The premature celebration. Oh, I knew it was going to happen as well. I knew that was going to happen. It's going to troll me, wasn't it? That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad, actually. Just need to feel the vibration. There's only one trainer there as well. Surprising. Surprised that I managed to avoid all of that in the middle. But here we go, right. Before we do this, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And I'm also gonna take a quick break to go to the toilet real quick. But when we come back, we're gonna be fighting rock type gym leader Geordie in Sir Chester. Be right back guys.
Alright then guys, sorry about that. Just a quick tactical toilet break before this gym battle. Let's make sure that our Pokemon are where we want them to be. Uh, Dreadnought, top of the party. Going into this battle against a rock type gym leader. Alright, here we go. Easy as you like. Gym mission cleared. Alright, let's go. Come on, Geordie. Come on, Geordie. Come on, Geordie. Come on, Geordie. Woo, here we go. Rock type gym leader. Let's see what he's all about. Oh, he looks like a tank. Look at him. Loving those shades, mate. Gotta say. Hi there, the name's Geordie. I admit I feel a bit, a little bit bad for doing this to a gym challenger, but I'm gonna use this match to show the crowd that my Pokemon are unbeatable. So let's get this over with, challenger. Yeah, let's get this over with. I want to end your career, mate. I'm going to end your career as a Pokemon gym leader. Here we go, Jordy. Oh, Gordy. Don't know how to say it. Barbarackle. Fighting ground type or something? Nope, we're not going to use Dynamax right until the end, though. Water gun. Here we go. Ah, ah, it's a water type, isn't it? Has to be a water type, right? Defense spell, SP defense spell, attack row sharply, and SP attack row sharply, and speed row sharply. Wow. 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 What is that? Uh, all right, Call me night. Let's go. Wow, what even is that? What even is this Pokemon? Oh my gosh. Oh my word, what even is this Pokemon, guys? Or Beetle, come on, you, 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 can, you can kill it or Beetle. You need to land a Psychic and you'll be fine. Please. What is... Please, please hit, please kill it. Oh, thank god, thank god. Oh my gosh. It's really wiped out like half of our team. Grim Snow and Colossal are both going up though. It's always good. Shuckle. Shuckle the wars. Shuckle the wars type. You know what, I'm gonna keep the current. I'm gonna try and heal Dreadnought. Tough battle. Tough battle. I'm not even sure what to expect right now, but this is a tough battle. Ah, uh, he's rock tunes to kill us. Oh, not. Okay. That's a. Uh, that's fun by me. Let's. Let's actually fight and let's use psychic. Okay, okay, okay. Boxing's not that effective against us. Though. What about struggle bug? What that is? Bad choice. Bad choice. We need it special attack wise as well. All right, all beetle. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh. Let's put coal ocel in. Let's put coal ocel in. And then let us use incinerate. Not even that does anything. Oh, 
Okay. See how it is. Let us use Smackdown. Yes. Okay, that's super quick. Journal. I don't know what that is. We're gonna keep. What the hell is that? Stonehenge. Look at it. He's smacked down again. Wonder Room. What does that even do? SP. Oh, it's got his. It's got his defense, isn't it? It's got his defense all the way up. Let's go ahead and use Smackdown. Oh, it's got Stealth for us means that if we want to swap Dreadnought out, then it's not going to be great for us, but hey ho, what are you going to do? Uh, oh, it is a Colossal. Okay, yes, we have to put Dreadnought in. We have to, we have to put Dreadnought in. It's the only Pokemon that knows a water type move, so we have to. Can I take some damage, is it? Stealth Rock. Uh, whatever. Whatever, Jordy. We have to go Dynamax, don't we? We have to definitely Dynamax. Yeah, we took some damage. Right, let's Dynamax and let's use Max Gacer. Oh, 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 Yeah, big boy dreadnought. Like a giant mountain boulder. Oh gosh, colossal gigantamax. We've already seen this obviously. We have one of our own. Coming up against it. Oh that looks terrifying, doesn't it? That looks terrifying. Come on, Max Gacer needs to kill it. Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite. We need to hit it again. It started raining. Steam engine, oh no. Size means strength. Saving this play. Uh, G Max Vocalist, what is that? Oh god. Oh gosh, okay. Not, not that bad. Uh, let's use Max Rockfall. Let's see what this does. Ah, uh, it's using the same attack. Obviously, it's got a speed boost as well. Why not end well for you, Dreadnought? Using the same attack against you. Oh yes, there we go Dreadnought, super effective, a critical hit as well, that's what I'm talking about, Sandstorm, it doesn't really matter, bye bye Colossal. sorry I had to win like this, there we go guys, 6th gym leader defeated, Oh, Rillaboom up to level 44, unfortunately Orbital and Falconite were knocked out in that battle. Well done, Dreadnought. That's what I'm talking about. You defeated Jim Leader Geordie. Thank you very much. Come on, Dreadnought. That's what I'm talking about. I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'll be more like falling from here. Give us your money. Give us the sweet, sweet Rock Gym badge as well. That was impressive. Rules are rules. Here, take this Rock badge. Another handshake. Oh, yeah. Nice firm handshake. Where's that slot in? Right at the top. Six down, two more to go. Cruising through this. Now you can catch Pokemon of up to level 50. Oh, don't worry about me. I just need to train harder. That's all. Alright, mate. You'll get there in the end. You'll get there in the end. As a celebration of your victory over Geordie, take this TM. 48 Rock Tomb. We already know Rock Tomb on our Dreadnought. So on. Is it Dreadnought? Yeah, on our Dreadnought. Don't need to worry too much about that. And a special uniform, it's the same design that Geordie wears. 
and that means it's extra cool. Of course it does. Here we go, we've got a rock uniform. Thank you very much. Alright, so that's where we're going to end today's stream. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and quickly save our progress, and then we're going to end the stream just after beating Geordie in the rock-type gym here in Sochester. So just to give you a quick recap of the Pokemon. Dreadnought, level 44. Colossal, level 44 as well. Rillaboom, level 44. Corviknight, level 44. Orbital, level 44. And Grimmsnarl, which we evolved from... Uh, I can't remember his name right now. Uh, I can't remember his name. But he evolved this episode. We've got him only level 43. I say only level 43. It's only one level behind the rest of our party. But he's certainly looking like a decent option going forward that we now have on our team. So, yeah, guys, like I say, I'm going to end the stream here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys uh, for coming out and hanging out. If you did hang out, um, if not, then, yeah, be sure to catch the next one. I don't know why I'm saying that because it's not like you're going to be watching it anyway. But, yeah, guys, it be nice to see a, uh, a few of you guys hang around again uh, in the next stream. So, without further ado, guys, I will see you later.